different level. You won't see nobody like me for like 12 other years. You see, they do all the time. Hey, we I'm different level. You crazy? You can't even coach my type of style. They style is regular. I gave him crazy work. Listen. Crazy work. Crazy work. And then look. And the dudes you kept getting all this love to, crazy work. Crazy work. Don't ever try me. Let me go. Let me go. This sounds so easy. It's like some mad. He's tripping. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Check his drink. He's tripping. Being the world class. All right, so Ripper, this the this the thing, right? So I know you cooking or whatever, but this is the same nigga that creates narrative. That's pretty much that's that's pretty much what he do. He's the same nigga that created a narrative against che Cheeky because he can't stand on merit and he can't stand on principle. Because these two lives that he's done, Fatty was what I'm talking about. I didn't know who you were talking about either. The, the the two lies he's done, what he refuses to do is go over what I actually say. Because your narrative can't last in my presence. So I've destroyed him over and over and over again. That's why he has to keep selling. He's the best debater. He's the best debater. He's the best debater. I'm the best debater in this space. Probably one of the best yeah, debaters on YouTube. To me. Yeah, yeah, come on, Sam. You got trashed already. So it's, <laughs> it's like when you got to create a narrative instead of standing on principle, uh, you're going to be worried about what I actually say. Because if you, it goes to the point where you talk and I talk, you're going to look dumb because you're fatty and I'm the world class. Nobody in their right mind puts you in my class in terms of intelligence. It's not going to happen. Nobody does that. So you have to create narratives and say stupid shit to people that don't know how to think. So to the point. Do you actually take it seriously when you be talking? Absolutely not. So when, so you have, he has a title of, um, what is it, Manosphere Hunters? As, as you said, I couldn't, when I'm going, when Fatty, Fatty, <laughs> again, I was here before, I was in this space with Mr. Palmer, before Fight Club, before Lapeef ever got ghetto. So I watched the inception of all of these people. Fatty does not have the ability it doesn't matter now because it's, it's the, the time has passed. He did not build his channel on his own at all. You grafted off other people's shit. So you are dependent on narratives and storylines. I'm not dependent on that. Like you said, Reaper, I post about, I make videos about a lot of different shit. Etymology, parse, syntax, modern money mechanics, a little girl being kidnapped, a little boy being uh, kidnapped. I've done lives on uh, epigenetics. I've done lives on multiple lives on monogamy. I did lives on BDSM. I have a broad topic. People don't know me from from Fight Club or Le Peef or no Anton Daniels channel or a bunch of Kevin Samuels videos, even though I did like four forever ago. I built my shit myself. This is probably one of the only channels that y'all y'all come through and somebody built it from thin air. I didn't graph off Coach Greg Adams or Mr. Palmer. None of that. I don't even... The topics I named, don't nobody even talk about them. Nobody's... No nigga talks about epigenetics, period. Nobody talks about modern money mechanics, what the Federal Reserve actually put out. Okay? I built my shit myself. I'm putting out information that I know people need. There's not too many brothers in this space that built it from thin air by themselves. I stand alone. And the people that got a problem with me cannot hold, they don't have one live holding a candlestick to any of the things that, I, that I'm showing. It's at a level of intelligence they can't reach. So uh, I, 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 do, I, I do, I do, but go ahead. Absolutely not. Because I didn't dose, mention you. The I, one, I, one, I never mentioned you, so that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> go ahead. So you need a narrative to the point, right? You have a live talking about manosphere hunters i cooked the fuck out of angry man i dragged the fuck out of anton daniels and tommy sotomayor yesterday because of the fucking shit that they did and they said because of what they did and what they said not because they're manosphere i don't even i don't even know how people think anton is manosphere i don't even know how that works i really don't even get that part he's not these people are getting cooked angry man is the most for somebody that speaks about you helping me, I've watched this nigga disrespect his own supporters and young and, and young men 
over and over and over and over again. He goes out his way to be disrespectful to males while acting like he is with he is full man. And he's not. Anton Daniels, I don't call I watch this nigga do the same exact thing, and you're not gonna fucking play games with me and do that shit with me. The nigga Tommy Sotomayor. The stuff that he was said that he said that was important, we can't stay on the topic because we always distracted by his dumb shit. These are people that I cook that Fatty is dependent on and was and is trying to use because he still has a small ass channel. I don't know why people forget that. You're not even at 4,000. So you're still looking to grab off of their traffic. That's why you have the narrative going because you can't build a channel by yourself. I've never seen, nobody has ever sent me a clip of Fatty and he's up there without a fucking group, a goddamn gr a gr a panel ever. Oh no, baby, what is you doing? I know damn well you ain't been watching it this long and ain't hit that like button. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Going right for the jugular, aren't you? And hit the like button for me, buy something. What's going on? Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Hit that little red button and consider becoming a member. Why not? Why haven't you heard what they say about me? I'm a degenerate fucking animal. Everything not gonna end up on the channel, man. We gonna put stuff in the back, you know, for the people that support the channel. I mean, it's okay, you know. Some people want to be freeloaders. I used to did it. Cash app, IG, link, it will be in the description. Also, the email, if you find something you want me to react to, man, hit me up in the email. Um, now, let's get back to the video. Appreciate you. I'm literally the one of the only people in here that makes videos by themselves. Daryl Long just went into my fucking video log and shared the the, 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 the video against J. Ali and, and, uh, and Aaron O and Fatty that I put together and I clipped, and I didn't even speak in that video. That shit is over 1500. I didn't say a single solitary word. I just use editing only. These niggas is terrified of me. And the sad part is I've been keeping the kid gloves on. But what, what's coming next is gonna be the most fucking destructive shit I've ever done in my life. Cause I'm tired of you playing games with me. All you can do, again, Reaper, this shit is from eight months ago. Eight months ago, you won't stop saying it. And that would keep shit a bean. I ain't going to wait to the next live. The reason this shit started up, because Fatty and Ali was trying to get Lucky Marie to stop fucking with me. I can say that publicly because they asked her during the motherfucking live to stop fucking with me. Equating me, mind you, equating me to Daryl Long. Well, if you stop visiting, we stop letting Daryl Long on, you got to stop fucking with world class. As if it's the fucking shit is equivalent. Nobody in their right mind equates me to Daryl Long. I don't fuck with people and, and post pussy pictures around the internet. I don't do that shit. But you're terrified of me, fatty and Ali, and you need somehow, some way to feel like you're safe. You're never safe. Your career is over. It's over. Once the cancel culture finds out who you are, you're done. And it's going to make me, ha I'm going to laugh even more when you get to 50,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers. Once they find out what you've been doing and the dumb people that's been supporting you, it's going to be Rico. They're going to have a very, 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 very bad, sad ending. And I'm going to laugh. Because how what I know is going to happen, once they see how you've been defending it and try to justify it, it's a fucking wrap. Your career is over. So enjoy the ride. It's a wrap. I'll find another one of y'all before y'all find another one of me. Let's keep shit a stack. Then I'm done and we can move on. My biggest video is me doing a reaction to Kevin Samuels. It has 15,000 views. It's eight minutes long. Fatty's biggest video is an 11-hour live with 11,000 views. You're not a content creator. You're not talented. If I tried at all, to get the exposure and get the views and try to be seen like you, it wouldn't be fucking close. Want to know why? Let's keep shit a stack. Let me rub this shit in your face. Because one of the things, Rupert, he mentioned was I had Savannah over here. Savannah, she's the most beautiful girl in the in, in the space. False. I'm going to show you some other creativity that people don't know about, which is why me and Lucky Marie is even cool. I did a whole fucking live rating chicks. 
Savannah was one of the ones that was rated. Lucky was one of the ones that was rated. How many niggas did that in this space? Newsflash, Savannah didn't get the most views. Hmm. She didn't, she didn't get the highest rating. So she's not the prettiest to people in this space. She's the prettiest to Fatty because Fatty wants something that he can't get. When I did that live, I think I was at 200 or 300 subscribers. When I had all those women on the live, it was because people were fucking attacking them, not just to have them up because they're cute. That part. When I did that, I had 400 subscribers. You had 3,000, you still can't do it. It's a dramatic, a dramatic gap in talent and significance and respect. More so than anything, respect. I don't have to beg. I don't got to hop in inboxes. I don't have to super chat. I don't got to promise money. I just ask these attractive women, hey, you want to come on the panel? And they fucking come. You know why women are not on this panel now? Because I don't fucking ask them. Because ugly ass, clown ass, incel niggas, I don't think y'all deserve to see a life that you, you're you never going to be welcome to anyway. I think you've had enough of that. You can go look at the old videos for that. But keep shit a bean. When something is going on in this space, I'll get a call from Brittany B. I mean, a call from Brittany B. I'll get a call from Natasha Vincent. I'll get a call. Ain't nothing change at all. It's way more now that it's a new chick hopping in my inbox every week. It's just a world you're not preppy to. And you never will be welcome. Because you can think you can do the PR shit all you want, but you cussing out Dana on Hamp Channel and all these other shit, that shit not going nowhere, boy. These girls didn't forget how you treated them. You can trick the dumb niggas that want to believe you anyway to have a chill spot, but that shit not going nowhere. You can't do what I do because you're not me. And that shit not going to change no time soon. So enjoy the ride. It's going to be vicious. It's going to hurt. I'm not these other niggas. I ain't flip flop. And I'm saving the rest for the live. The couple of lives. Well, I'm going to drag the fuck out of you. You think people in this space fuck with you and they absolutely positively don't. But you're too stupid to, to understand that. They're, because you're a dumb foreigner. I know these people better than you. I don't give a fuck about your numbers. Remember, fatty and fatty supporters, I cooked the fuck out of you on my channel before you even had a fucking channel. I don't need you. This is how you know you're small. This is how you know I'm better than you. You got 4,000 subscribers, almost 4,000 subscribers. You still talking about what I did to you. He's trying to put the pedal with me. Nigga, I've cooked that shit over and over and over again. But what am I trying to get off of me that you said, since you're just as good as me? Not a motherfucking thing. I haven't even started to drag you. But once it start, and ain't nothing in life that you're going to be able to do about it. Because information, you think information passes fast on the internet. Bad bitches, attractive women, they pass information super galactic fast. And once they see your stupid ass face that you were making, when you made the joke about the 16-year-old's titties and pussy in and them, and them group chats, you can be just like Daryl Long and uh, Tommy Sotomayor. Make a new channel after new channel after new channel. You the next Daryl Long and Tommy uh, Sotomayor. Congratulations. You fucked yourself. So as I said, I'm taking the cake to myself. All right, gentlemen. We can get back to the conversation. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got lost in the train of thought. I just saw that goodness I just heard. Washed. Like we weren't supposed to come up with something this clean, you know, like something happened.
we like you. We did this because we are you. Being the world class.